Hi Scorpio, this reading is for you if you are in love with or have a crush on someone and would like to know how they feel about you. I'll do two spreads. In the first spread we'll try to see if they feel the same way about you, then if the feelings are mutual in the second spread we'll see the potential between you and this person, or if their heart is with someone else in the second spread we'll see who is coming towards you in the near future. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. All right, Scorpio, um, let's see what's going on with the person on your mind. We have uh, the Knight of Cups, uh, clarified by the Five of Cups. Then we have the Ace of Wands, clarified by the Four of Wands. We have Strength. And uh, we also have the Page of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a fellow water sign, uh, Cancer, not a Scorpio, or Pisces. We actually have a lot of fire as well. All right, Aries, Leo, Sag. Leo in particular. <laughs> yeah, we have only fire and water on the table. Okay. Um, water could also be you. Some of you could be dealing with maybe two people. One of them could be a fellow water sign, another one could be a, um, a fire sign, right? Water and fire. But, uh, you know, I'll focus on the, um, I'll focus on the scenario where, where you're dealing with just one person. So this person coming your way, they're both very loving and very passionate. And you will be hearing from them. But there is a bit of a, hoop to jump through, right? Because we start with the uh, Knight of Cups clarified by the Five of Cups. The Five of Cups has always to do with the past, right? It's a card of grief and regret thinking about the past. Um, in most cases, this is based on a previous experience. So for some of you, it could be based on a previous experience with this particular individual, or it could be based on a ex negative experience, I guess, with somebody else. And perhaps this is still sort of kind of hovering over you or the person you're dealing with, or the situation overall, right? Some of you, yeah, you could have already dealt with this person, and uh, perhaps you guys had like a false start, there was a missed opportunity and they regret that and they're going to come back to you and apologize. For others of you, it could be an ex coming back also with an apology and letting you know they can't live without you. Scorpio, something about that Five of Cups, right, that has to do with the past. Nevertheless, yeah, uh, the Page of Cups on the bottom of the deck, it is either an apology or them asking you out on a date again. if they or asking you out on a date, or both apologizing and asking you out, right? Uh, the Page of Cups is, the, is like the nicest page out of all four pages. So do expect them to be super nice to you, very attentive, you know, paying a lot of attention to you, giving you compliments, giving you flowers, baskets with muffins, I don't know, <laughs> what have you. And uh, the Five of Cups we have on the left is, uh, is clarifying the Knight of Cups. So there is going to be an upgrade from the Page of Cups, nevertheless. And because, uh, yeah, because the Knight of Cups is the most romantic, the most lovey-dovey knight out of all four knights. Um, and uh, this knight is all about love. Do expect a very romantic big gesture from this person. And then we have the Ace of Wands, clarified by the Four of Wands, right? And uh, this is a very passionate type of a deal with an Ace of Wands. You could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, right? The Four of Wands clarifying it. Um, is a card of a commitment, marriage. It, this card is often referred to as the 1111 card. It could be like a celebration, family-oriented celebration. Could be a, someone's wedding, someone's engagement party, or your wedding, your <laughs> engagement party. Um, something that has to do with family, either existing or uh, new family that could be formed in the future. So yeah, I, li I, I really like this so far, right? The Knight of Cups all about love. Right, the very romantic knight. The Ace of Wands is a very passionate ace. So you get basically you get both romance and passion. And the Four of Wands clarifying it. Yeah, there's going to be either talks about uh, taking it all away, or perhaps the two of you could go to someone's wedding, to someone's engagement party, to someone's uh, housewarming party, or what have you. And at the end, we have strength. Strength could be interpreted so many different ways. All right. Strength could be a Leo you're dealing with, or somebody with Leo in their chart. Strength could also be a card of somebody who is holding back, right? And But at the same time, strength could be a card of pure, raw passion, all right? And it is sitting right next to that Ace of Wands, the very passionate Ace. And strength could be a card of loyalty, okay? I don't know if loyalty was ever questioned in the past or not, but... Uh, 
Yeah, from what I see, yeah, you do have this person coming your way. There is some kind of a hiccup with that Five of Cups, which has to do with the past. But uh, I think they really want to get the show uh, on the road with you. I think they really want to get it off the ground with you. All right, so yeah, let's take a look at the uh, potential between you and this person real quick. Here's the potential between you and uh, the person we saw in the previous spread, Scorpio. We have uh, the Queen of Wands clarified by the Six of Wands, we have the Eight of Wands clarified by the Sun, we have the King of Wands clarified by the Ten of Pentacles, and uh, we also have the Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a fire sign after all. Um, but, uh, you know, whenever I see uh, the King and the Queen of Wands in the same spread, I very often refer to this couple as a partners in crime couple. Right? Hopefully not literally. But <laughs> what I usually mean by that is that the two of you make a perfect match. The two of you are easy to get up and go. The two of you are very, you know, passionate, very fiery. And uh, you may feel this way towards pretty much whatever is going on in your life. Perhaps you're easy to get up and go. Or this is how the two of you feel towards one another. Right? It's like the two of you... Uh, can spend a lot of time together and never get bored of one another. You always have something to talk about or places to go. You have very similar interests, similar sense of humor. You finish each other's sentences, things like that. There's a lot of uplifting energy here, right? There's a lot of optimism here. There's a lot of excitement. The, in the middle, we have the Eight of Wands clarified by the Sun. The Eight of Wands is the Cupid's Arrows card. So yes, definitely a very special connections, right? Uh, the Sun clarifying it is a Leo card, but uh, the Sun is a card of clarity. So I think the two of you will be crystal clear about what the two of you mean to one another. And besides that, the Sun is the happiest card in the deck. All right. So yes, there's a lot of love and there's a lot of happiness. The, the Queen of Wands is clarified by the Six of Wands, right? I don't know who is who here. <laughs> you can be either the Queen of Wands or the King of Wands, doesn't matter to me. The Queen of Wands is clarified by the Six of Wands, which is a card of victory, right? It's a card of success. So the Queen of Wands thinks they've scored, right? It's also a card of feeling good about yourself, feeling good about what's going on. It's a card of attention. So the Queen of Wands feels like they're in, in the center of attention. The King of Wands is clarified by the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, this is what they want. They want to get serious. It is a card of a commitment to marriage, just like the four of ones in the previous spread. All right, then the, the Wheel of Fortune uh, on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, getting the show on the road. Getting the show on the road, after all. The Wheel of Fortune is the start of a cycle. It's a major arcana card. It's a very fortunate card. The word fortune is there for a reason. Right, so you only have two major arcana cards on the table. You have that Wheel of Fortune, right, the very fortunate card. This is a card of when things turn around for the better. And you have the Sun, which is the happiest card in the deck. And we have the two partners in crime. This, this is awesome. I don't know what that Five of Cups was about in the first spread. Again, for some of you, it, it could be like a false start between the two of you or negative experience with, someone from the, with somebody else from the past. But the two of you make a perfect couple. And the two, the two of you are actually looking forward to uh, getting the show on the road. So perhaps let go of what happened in the past and, uh, yeah, look into the future. You guys, you will have so much fun together. At the same time, we saw a lot of love in the previous spread. And we see commitment with the Ten of Pentacles. We see happiness. We see you feeling good about this if you are the Queen of Wands. Yeah, it's a perfect uh, recipe for an amazing life together. <laughs> All right, uh, Scorpio, so yeah, that's pretty much all I have for you for this reading, for this uh, time period. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Scorpio, have an amazing the rest of uh, February.